Hey, welcome. I'm George. A real quick video here on what I call hydrometer science. Um, I just, just to make sure that you fully understand this, um, and I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence. I know we all know how to read hydrometers, but we, we get questions about this all the time, so I'm going to try to make it really easy. Uh, and you know, you've, got, you've probably got one of these. It may look exactly the same. It may look, you know, color-coded. And it may not be color-coded. Don't worry about that. Um, it's the only difference is is that one's color coded, one's not. I mean, but they both have the same scale. They'll have a brick scale, a percent potential alcohol scale, and then they'll have a gravity scale on it. So you just need to know that there's three different scales on here. It's called a triple a triple scale. Uh, I knock on bricks is normally used by some of your advanced, experienced brewers, old time brewers, um, and it's really popular in Europe. Uh, we normally use the gravity points, which is the next scale over, um, and then sometimes we use the percent scale, p potential alcohol scale. But they all do exactly the same thing, but the one that we're more familiar with is the gravity scale. You know, we'll always ask you if you call in with a problem, what was your initial gravity? You need to know about that. So without further ado, I've taken the brick scale off, and what I've got is I've got this diagram now remember, 1.000 is water. So there's your data point. So if you had a cylinder and you drop the hydrometer into that cylinder of water, it would float right here at 1.000. That's your data point, one. And then after that, of course, it goes up incrementally. There's 10, 20, so that would be 1.010 sometimes known as 1010. Different people say it different ways. Uh, we normally just say 1.010, uh, but if you say 1010, we'll know what you're talking about. Then there's 20, of course, 30, 40, 50. It, it continues on, it goes down. So in the beer category, of course, it's, it's highlighted for beer and wine. Um, what we normally do, let's say for distilling, just for sake of argument, for distilling, we're normally looking for about a 1.090 or 1090. Now what that does is if you look at that, that's floating way up here. So if you move over to the next scale, which is the percent scale, you'll notice that that lines up with 10, 11, 12, 12% alcohol by volume, potentially. And that is if your yeast eat all of those sugars. So there's enough sugar available to produce 12% alcohol by volume of that test jar. That's how we do this. You see here, we know that, as in, just as an example, about 32 gravity points is what you can achieve with one pound of sugar in one gallon of water. And that will equate to just shy of 5%. So you see that, there's your 5% line, uh, 32, 33 gravity points, right there about 4.5. So what we shoot for, is if I shoot for one, uh, 1090, 1.090, I know that I can get 12%. Now, that means that I get one pound, two pounds, three pounds, and this is a, round, a ballpark figure, three pounds of sugar in one gallon of water, would be about 12%. Now what would happen if I wanted to go to 15%, which is down here? Well, see, I'd have to go from 90 all the way down to 1.200. 1.200. So that's how you read that scale. What will happen is, is you drop, let's say for instance, you drop your hydrometer in the first time and it reads right here at that 10% mark that 10% line, you're like, oh, okay, that's good enough. And I would, if that was mine, I'd leave it there. That's 10% alcohol by volume, which is gonna be 1.078, 1.080, somewhere around there. Well, you get a cool rate, you pitch your yeast, and you go back in seven to 10 days and check it, and now that puppy's floating all the way up here at one, at, let's say 1010. 10. It's not done yet, but it's close. It's 1.010. We look across here, that's equal to about 1%. So you subtract that 1% from that initial 10%, leaves you with 9%. So you have 9% alcohol by volume. 
Now, some mashes, you know, wines especially, that will ferment down below water because alcohol is thinner than water. And if it ferments below, wine in particular becomes very, very dry. Um, when it comes to mashes for distilling, if you ferment down below 1.000, all you're doing is increasing the potential alcohol because this scale does work in the reverse. There's 1%, there's an extra 2%. So you probably won't get any lower than that. But you probably won't get that low. But you, you can get down below 1.000. That should clear that up. So remember, first hydrometer reading, anywhere. Second hydrometer reading, subtract that from the first hydrometer reading and that'll give you your percent if you're using, oh, there it is, if you're using that percent scale. Uh, now, if you're using the gravity scale, uh, you can do it the longhand method. Original gravity minus final gravity times 131.25 equals alcohol by volume. Until next time, happy brewing, happy distilling.